talking about Season 2, Episode 8 of Beyond Oak Island. And this one is called Peter Easton's Plunder. Rick and Maddie search the waters of Newfoundland with diver Tony Sampson and a team to look for sunken treasure connected to pirate Peter Easton. 1500 and 1600, Peter Easton was a privateer for Britain. He was hired to basically be a pirate, but a legal pirate. And he would go after Spanish ships, French ships, you name it. Any ones that Britain would be at war with, it was fair game for him. He would take those ships. Towards the end of his pirate career, he had amassed 5,000 crew and over 50 ships. He was one of the most successful pirates of any pirate out there. Not a lot is known about him. There's stories about him. He's known to some people, but not everybody. This was the first time I'd ever heard of Peter Easton. The main people who will be going after this are Tony Sampson, who's a world-class diver and has worked with the Laginas for many years. He's a diver in Nova Scotia, and he's from New Zealand. And he's also worked as a paramedic, and he's had over 8,000 diving hours in his entire life so far and count. Bill Smith, he's a chiropractor up in Canada, and he's been looking into Peter Easton for 20 plus years. He's done so much research, he's gone to Scotland to figure out a bunch of stuff about Peter Easton and figured out stories. And Peter Easton had a base in Newfoundland. One of his bases was in Harbor Grace, Newfoundland. He'd gone out for some trip to go steal plunder from countries, ships, and when he got back to Harbor Grace in Newfoundland, in 1612, a battle with French pirates, because they had captured his base, and during that battle, one of his ships sank, and it possibly had treasure on it from his quest, but they ended up winning the battle against the French pirates in 1612. Once they get there, they go to the site of where that shipwreck is, and it's protected, so they had to pull a special permit to investigate it, dive on it, and they couldn't disturb the ground, so they could just dive on it and look that way and take measurements on cannons and whatever else needed to be done. They did side scanning, and they found multiple targets. After they went and scanned the site, they went back into town, and then they went to a bar. There's this thing where you can become an honorary member of Newfoundland, Rick Lagina and Maddie Blake, they did the initiation and they became part of Newfoundland. In that bar, they went over the stuff and they made a plan for the next day to go dive. That next day, they had Tony Sampson and another diver. And then he had Ken DeBoer, who works with Tony Sampson. And he is a ROV pilot, so he was ROVing while Tony Sampson and another diver went down with them. While they were down there, they found two cannons. They're about five feet long. One was a little bit shorter and stuff, so they took measurements on it, and then they searched around the site. They didn't really find anything metal, but they found two cannons while they were down there. After Rick, Lagina, and Maddie Blake got back into town, they were talking with Tony Sampson and Bill Smith. They were all talking together. And Scarlett Janusa came in through like Zoom or Skype, whatever they were using and showed them all footage of the dive and the cannons and stuff. They found out that those cannons were from the right time period of late 1500s to 1600s. And that fits in around the time that Peter Easton was a privateer slash pipe. It'll be interesting to see any updates that we hear about Peter Easton over the next couple of years. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Beyond Oak Island. Don't forget to hit the bell icon down below so I can be notified when I upload videos. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching. And if you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. Don't forget to dream big.